Hi there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft video here on the channel and within this video we're going to be looking at something pretty cool I think. We're going to be looking at Minecraft tools but not the normal tools you normally see in the game. And you can see here that I have a normal feather right here which obviously cannot mine blocks very well but using commands right here I can actually give myself a very special feather in Minecraft, which actually acts like a pickaxe in Minecraft. So as you can see here, this can actually be used as a pickaxe in the game and not as a standard feather. So this command right here allowed to give me that item to the player. And this one right here is very, very similar. This one just spawns the item as an item entity that the player can actually pick up but these are essentially actually I guess special pickaxes in the game or special feathers that act like a pickaxe in the game so um it's, <laughs> it's a pretty fun thing you can do in Minecraft and it's a new thing you can learn about commands as well but um this should work for Minecraft 1.21 as well as also Minecraft 1.20.5 and above as well. And what we're actually using here is we're using a tool data component in Minecraft to get this to work. So what we're actually doing here is we are assigning special data to this item, this feather in this case, to actually make it act like a pickaxe in the game using the commands. So. I'm now going to show you the commands in a text editor so you can see it in more detail and so I can show you what is actually going on. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here and these are the commands I'm going to be going through in this video. These commands will be in the description of the video so you can copy and paste them into your Minecraft and have a look for yourself. This first command right here is the give command. So this actually gives to the player direct. So we're doing slash give at p and then we're doing minecraft colon feather as the item. And because we're doing a give command here, we're using square brackets so that we can assign components in Minecraft. So what we're doing here, this is where we're using the, the tool data component in Minecraft. So minecraft colon tool and then we are assigning data to this feather. So what we're doing here is we are assigning some rules here and within the rules we have some blocks data, a speed and this other variable right here. So uh, this blocks uh, data, you can assign a whole list of blocks that the tool can actually mine. But in this case, I'm actually using a tag right here. Uh, hashtag mineable pickaxe. So essentially this feather will be able to mine and get the drops from those blocks from blocks that are mineable from a ordinary pickaxe in the game, essentially. So this is basically where this is the magic that makes the feather act like a proper pickaxe in the game. And this is the, I guess, the tool usage speed. So uh, if you increase this speed, it will make the tool faster at mining that particular block. And this one right here, correct for drops. I think this is needed so that when the blocks are mined and uh, it is a mineable block for a pickaxe in this case, it makes sure that, um, you know, it'll only drop the the drops from that block if the correct tool is used. So essentially, if I mine cobblestone with this feather, it should drop cobblestone because I use the correct tool for that particular case. So hopefully that makes sense. But that is that command right there. And we have the summon command right here, which is very, very similar. This just makes sure to do the item entity that can be picked up and this is using exactly the same data as above. But um, in this case, we're doing two blocks above the command block for the item entity. We're doing item data with a feather like normal. And we actually are assigning components at this particular part right here with exactly the same data. So 
hopefully that makes sense and you may be able to have some fun with this. Obviously, this is only one example of using the tool data component in Minecraft. Uh, actually, you know, for a pickaxe, but you can do a similar thing with, I guess, shovels, swords, and I guess hoes as well and that sort of thing. But um, hopefully this gives you some new command stuff in your arsenal. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial right here. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial and learn something new, then a like, subscribe on the video will be very much appreciated. And make sure that you hit notification bell so you're notified of any future videos here on the channel. And if you want to follow my socials, they're on screen and in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. But uh, yeah. Um, hopefully uh, <laughs> you've enjoyed these commands here. Uh, stay happy and healthy, everyone, and see you in the next video.